your firm has over 200 clients um, internationally and in Brazil. Um, have you seen a large gro growth in the internal Brazilian market where Brazilian to Bra Brazilian clients? Uh, yes, we have. Um, mm -hmm. Most of our growth uh, has come from Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the Brazilian economy has been growing fast over the last 10 years and IT grows at a multiplier of the of the local economy. So if, if the economy has been growing 8 or 9 percent or 6 percent, uh, IT has been growing 12, 13, 15. Okay. And we've been beneficiaries of, uh, of that growth. Okay. Um, one of the comments that you made, I guess, with the acquisition um, by Capgemini is that uh, cloud services adoption was lagging a bit in Brazil. Um, has that improved? Um, and what do you think it's, the reason uh, for that is? Well, you know, it's a new thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and cloud really is a definition of, mm -hmm. of uh, virtuality that mm -hmm. is taking off as a, as a very good definition, actually. Uh, it's growing fast. Mm -hmm. There is a large number of data centers being built in Brazil. Before we thought we had excess capacity. Mm -hmm. Now we find that we don't have enough capacity. So, yeah, cloud is growing, uh, particularly from our point of view, the management, the remote management mm -hmm. of clouds has been a very important area of growth for us, mm -hmm. for so CPM. Private Access. clouds or public clouds? Uh, both. Uh -huh. uh, most of the work we've been doing is running or setting up or managing private clouds, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the financial services uh, work. But we also have worked with a couple of uh, uh, public cloud uh, cloud providers who, frankly, have done a lot to improve their security. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes one hesitates about using a, a public cloud provider, but there is more security in a, pri in a public cloud provider than in most private enterprises. Um, what trends do you see emerging over the next year in terms of sourcing um, in the near shore market? Um, the nearshore market, you know, if we define the LATAM nearshore mm -hmm. uh, market as one, the trends are that you're seeing more and more multi-country sourcing, mm -hmm. uh, multinationals that come to the region because the region is growing, and they are looking for consolidation of their own processes. So the efficiencies that come from having centers in LATAM that not only support North America or Europe, but actually support their growth areas in LATAM itself, is what I would say is the largest area of growth today.